welcome to Vlogtober day number 11. Wait, no, today's the 10th. Yo, I feel like I went from one to another, so I'm sorry. Let's do that again. Welcome and good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Jen Gaga's World because I feel like I haven't been saying that. And welcome to Vlogtober day number 10. 10, you guys. It's because I went to bed so late. <laughs> But like I mentioned last night, I was um, gonna take my sweet time this morning because I was up until what, working till like 1 a.m. last night? Yeah, so I earned my, my fair share of let me just breathe in the morning. Oh, it was so wonderful. And the cloud cover that was happening this morning made it feel like it was even earlier, unfortunately, um, because it's like your brain thinks it's still early. And I think that happened to, my son was up at his normal time. My um, my 16 year old but my daughter I had to go in the room and actually wake her up because she was like knocked out it was already 7 45 we like to leave by 7 55 no later than 8 and she was knocked out and I was like girl you better get up but to be fair I didn't get up until probably about 7 30 or so and started getting ready and everything and obviously like had to put on my makeup and everything because I do have a meeting. I thought it was 9.30. It's actually at 9. So I'm here at Starbucks, aka Starbies. Um, it said that my order is already ready. So I just wanted to make this a quick hello, good morning introduction. Um, the morning, you may have heard that little clip. It was like dark. And if you hear closely... And you It sounds like ducks off in the distance. I literally woke up to that and I was like, oh my gosh, it sounds like a tag of the ducks <laughs> or seagulls, whatever, but I'm pretty sure there are ducks flying over. Um, so that was cute. But yeah, I'm gonna get my order. Um, it's definitely a coffee kind of morning. I have not gone on my walk. I did not opt for a run today. My body hurts. I think it's because I did so much movement yesterday and then ended with a night of just sitting in one spot. So I think it was like a combo of both yesterday. So my lower back was killing me. So this morning I put on the shower nice and hot, just let that water hit my back and especially like my lower back area and I'm feeling a lot better and awake. So I'm gonna get my coffee that will make things all the way um, better and then I have two back-to-back -back meetings so luckily the weather's going to be on my side so even though I'll be going on a later morning walk at least the weather will still be nice and kind to both myself and Minnie who struggles with the heat so yeah so let's go ahead and get into that I'll come back with my drink so you can see my lovely little first sip and then I'll get into the work day and come back throughout the day and also, I was editing last night. I got about halfway through yesterday's, which it was pretty quick, actually. That more than I, it was quicker than I expected I was gonna get through my video until I, um, my laptop died, and I had to go to my room, had to charge it, and that darkness in my room with just a little faint, you know, TV going on in the background. I was like, <laughs> I was like sitting there like this. It was almost two in the morning. I was like, yeah, I gotta go to bed. So. I'll finish editing that at some point, probably during like my lunch break and then I'll post it and then yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and get up in here. How am I so drawn? Like, I feel like I talked so long, like four minutes already. <laughs> All right, you guys, my drink's ready and I got a meeting in 20, so I gotta go. See you guys later. Got my cafecito. No, can't do that. Grande pumpkin spice latte, non fat with a light whip. And now I'm a talking head. <laughs> so, like it says, that first sip filling. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I also can't believe it's almost $6 for a cup. So, I don't get this every day. Look at how cool the sky looks today. It's like thick clouds, and then all of a sudden it goes to like thin. morning but it's actually a lot warmer today at least in my opinion it feels way warmer just because of the simple fact that the sun is out 
Hey guys, so I'm gonna make this quick because it's windy and if it's anything like yesterday's vlog, it was so windy, probably gave up and stopped listening. So just wanted to say that it's a beautiful day. That's really all I have to say. Not much happening today. Had my two back-to-back -back meetings. As I said earlier, I was gonna go on a late morning walk and it's still pretty nice out here. Um, windy for sure and a little bit warmer because the sun is actually out this time but enjoying the little bit of coolness that we can get so i'm going to get back in a minute and i'm probably going to prep um dinner for tonight because i realize one of my meetings starts at 12 30 which is typically the time i take lunch so that means i'll have to take my lunch a little bit earlier and i'll just consider that my lunch when i get back i'm going to probably make so now it's getting super windy Probably gonna make some breaded steaks. I was just gonna do regular steak. Probably make some breaded steaks with, um, make some homemade frijoles de la olla, yum. And that's about what we got going on today. I mean, I'm debating on hitting the gym just because I haven't, but I'm also so tired from yesterday. I feel like I'm using the excuse of working late yesterday as an excuse not to work out today. So I'll see how I feel later, but it's just a lot a lot's going on in life right now and it's like gym is just like oh, even though I feel so good when I finish working out but at the same time it's the getting there that's the challenge so we'll see how the day goes but I'll come back later because it's way too guess what I found out today is Starbucks pumpkin spice latte 20th birthday cheers to PSL cheers I know mine's all cold because I had got it I got it and then I came home and then it was our meeting. So I've been sipping on it throughout the day, but I could probably use a quick warm up. But yeah, look at that. Little did I know, I had no idea. And I just naturally got it. I also feel like it was a missed marketing opportunity because this is very much a plain cup and a little bit of a, of a fingerprint, fingerprint smear from this morning, whoever served it. So they could have done like a little festive PSL celebratory cup for only those that maybe got the PSL I don't know just a thought I mean we're already paying six dollars a cup right so <laughs> at least for the grande practically I think it was $5.95 is that what I said anyway doesn't matter I'm gonna go ahead and eat it's 12 15 I got this meeting in like 15 minutes look at the leftovers gotta love it um yeah I went outside and I was watering the plants and you know kind of just watering the grass a little bit and then I'm like man I really wanted to prep um, dinner but I don't I'm not gonna have time and I didn't want to leave it halfway done so I'm just gonna hold on and eat because I'm so hungry and I haven't ate all day like literally all I had was coffee and I think I had one or was it two cookies look at the cookies they're almost gone look at that I hate that I can't, I feel like back in the day we were able to flip flop the camera back around, like forward and back without having to stop recording and then going back to recording. And the funny thing is on the Marco Polo app that I use to like video message my friends, that one you can. So I don't understand why your regular camera can't do it. Things that make you go, hmm. But I'm going to stop talking and go eat because I am ready to eat and then I got to prep. So here's what leftovers look like. I used the Minute Maid brown rice and then with the chicken there underneath all that cheese and pesto. Delicious. Finally off work. I just put the same shirt I was wearing on last night for sleep because I was wearing my work shirt just a second ago. But look at that. 541. Doesn't ever fail. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I have a couple things that I didn't quite finish, but... They're not pressing and it's not like a report. Nobody's relying on me except for, you know, for our own like data and numbers. But I'll get to that tomorrow when I get back from our event. Tomorrow is going to be a busy morning. I have to leave the house by 630 in order to be on the other side of town um, by 730. So super early morning. But you guys, the reason I wanted to come on here is to show first of all i haven't been in my room since i left it like at 7 30 this morning it's crazy i've been downstairs this whole time look at that gray 
gloomy. Remember how I said it was warmer today and it was brighter today? There wasn't as many as many clouds. Let me show you my neighbors. Um, nah, I don't want to do that. Then I might be, I might come off as a video voyeur because it's their yard. But it's raining. And it's raining consistently. Like, not hard, but consistently. I would have expected the rain yesterday, not today. Check it out. Mm, you're not going to be able to see that. Let me turn the camera. There we go. There we go. Let me dim, dim the lighting. See that? If I hold still long enough, you can see the little droplets. This is that weather where you just want to, like, curl up in bed and just enjoy. And I probably should. Sounds really nice, actually. But I'm going to go to the gym. I already got my stuff ready. I got my bag. I got my headphones fully charged. I got my water bottle. Like, I just got to go. Otherwise, I won't do it. So, I'm going to get over there, get this little workout on. I already got dinner prepped. I didn't make homemade beans because we didn't have enough to make. So, we have some Rosarita in the pantry. That's what it's going to have to be. And then I'll make the macaroni salad on the side. Not, it's not a macaroni salad. It's like a macaroni it's like a pasta dish um, instead of rice. I make the pasta, vice versa. But I love when I make breaded steaks with that. It just Everything just comes together so nicely. So if everybody's hungry, usually the husband loves that stuff. So he'll probably get started on it before I even get dinner going. But considering how it's almost 6 o'clock, I'm going to hurry up and go. Because my goal is to only be there until 7 and then get home. Be home by 7.30, no later. Which it'll already be dark by then. But, yep, I'm going to go. You know what I also did that I didn't even think about? Left my windows cracked. So, everything got wet. My husband came home. He's like, um, are you not planning to close your windows? I'm like, whoops. Let me make sure my sunroof. Yeah, my sunroof is closed. Thank goodness. Or maybe it wasn't and he closed it. But, yeah, that's the rain. Rain, rain. Actually, I don't want it to go away. It needs to rain. But my car is so dirty, so this is that rain where it just really pushes the fact that your shit's dirty. <laughs> but you know what it can't rain on? Saturday. Why? What's going on, Jen? Well, it's supposed to be a whole eclipse. Uh-oh. I forgot my other glasses were in here already. It's supposed to be a whole eclipse happening. And they said that our chances are becoming slimmer if the cloud cover is still up wonderful the one time a year that we actually don't want it to rain and it hasn't rained all year <laughs> well it has but you know the chances of it raining has been very slim lately and I'm like and clouds like come on really last week it was 95 degrees like let's make it happen again like maybe not 95 maybe 85 with no cover like no clouds <laughs> so, but I don't know because morning time typically ends up being our it's that whole what's it called marine layer even though we're not that close people think sacramento is the bay we're not the bay we're close but we're not the bay we get enough of the marine cover sometimes depending on how much they get but we're not the bay same i love bay area music i'll rep it all day but we're not the bay don't let people fool you I finished my workout. I want to show the BFF that I really do use my mirror. Look at that. Oh, what? What's so funny is the other night when I was heading to the event we had, my cousin and I we had to go to. Um, <laughs> I, I, I opened it because I'm used to having it and I opened it up just to like check because I felt like my eyebrow or my, eyebrow, my eyelashes were falling off. And when I went to adjust, she's like, oh, oh, I like that mirror. She thought it was part of, well, I don't know. I think she thought it was part of the car. But I was like, oh no, I got that for my, for my birthday last year from the BFF. It has three settings. Look at that. Oh my gosh. My, um, what you would call it my um stomach is super growling i wasn't hungry when i left but i'm hungry now so i'm going to 
get home. Um, you're probably like, dang, why haven't you used that light when you're, you know, you can't see you? Well, because half the time if I'm driving, I don't want the light on. So anyway, um, and you can see this one dims if the car is not on, but yeah, nothing too much today. Just, I'm proud of myself for going and actually working out. I also feel like my upper lip is, lip, upper lip is sweating. So let me grab a napkin. People around me are probably like, why? And she's just sitting in her car with the whole light on because I can. <laughs> I also find it weird like they haven't closed the um, little curtain things on the gym. Like you could like see everybody just work it out. I'll show you guys in a second. Um, I'm also very much a creature of habit. They move stuff around. They, they move like the lower body weight stuff to the other side, which is normally upper body. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> People who are on my Facebook are probably like, oh my gosh, you're always complaining about your gym. It, it's just, it's not that it's a bad thing. It's just a creature of habit. I'm used to going to a certain area. I also feel like the certain area that it used to be in, it's a little more private because it has like walls that kind of like block people that are just walking by now I feel like you're all in the open and if you're doing lower body it's because your butt's hanging out half the time or it's like awkward stances and now I feel like you're just there on display I don't like it so I kind of avoided that area um, ironically I still ended up kind of like in the opening area but I felt like I still had like my own little privacy because there wasn't really people around me I know believe it or not but I think the rain kept people away I wasn't as busy as it usually is at this time. But I managed to get most of my workouts done. At even I had to swap a couple of them out, but I got my stuff done. Point is I made it to the gym because I haven't made it in a couple days. Um, I also noticed halfway through that your girl changed her shirt. She was in such a hurry to change and get out the door that I forgot all about changing into a sports bra. Fortunately, and probably why the reason I didn't find out until or realize it till halfway through is because I was doing basically lower body stuff nothing that really required a bouncing or running <laughs> TMI I know but yeah anyways I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here today because all I'm gonna do when I get home is basically make dinner sorry let me um I also feel like these nails aren't lasting as long as my last ones did, so I'm having to be careful how I do things. I don't want to push too much, put too much pressure on this side. This one's already starting. I'm gonna have to see if I can find a little bit of nail glue, just glue it down because it's not, it's not fully grown out yet. And the other ones are still pretty good. And I have an event next week, and I don't plan on getting my nails done until right before the end of the month. The second to the last week, I'm not too worried about, but next week I got way too many events to be walking around with one nail falling off or gone <laughs> okay if this thing falls off let me tell you i'm gluing that sucker right back on um oh my god my stomach's growling again i was gonna say i'm just gonna go home and make dinner and then i don't want this vlog to be super long because i still have to finish obviously i haven't uploaded my other one um i ha still have to finish editing it and then um i have to edit this one and to be honest like i'm just trying to go home make dinner chill enjoy the family and shower and then sit down and edit and I'll probably watch like a movie one movie that I just watched um, on Netflix which I recommend it was kind of crazy probably not with the kids I mean unless they're a little bit older because there are some sexual scenes there's not much nudity or anything like that but you know what's going on you know if you know you know kind of thing so um, but the movie called fair play I happened to put it on the other day and it was um, it was actually pretty good and it's kind of a trip because it talks about the whole I feel like this whole hierarchy and this power struggle and how like men are okay with you doing your thing until it impacts their career or until it impacts them directly so I'm not gonna kill it or spoil it I just recommend to watch it it was pretty good if you like I don't want to say it's a thriller it's more like I don't know just just go watch it. I recommend it. It was in like the top 10. So, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming other people thought it was good too. My um, good friend uh, recommended Reptile. I haven't got to that one yet. Maybe that's one that I'll check out tonight just because I feel like I want to give it my undivided attention. 
fair play i was able to finish watching like in between work yesterday and that's because I, I i was already hooked from the beginning having watched the first half the night before had i put that on during the work day i probably wouldn't have appreciated it as much because i would have i wouldn't have known what was going on um but since i already had a good idea of the storyline by the time i went to finish the second half i was able to like stick with it that's why i feel like reptile might be one of those so i'm gonna give it my full undivided until i fall asleep i guess or stay awake the whole time but without further ado i'm gonna end this vlog thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button comment down below if there's any other recommendations that are out there on netflix i have netflix hbo max paramount stars and amazon prime or whatever video so if you have any recommendations, let me know because your girl over here doesn't have cable anymore. And yeah, <laughs> so I'll talk to y'all later and make sure to subscribe if I didn't say that already. And cheers to the ending of Vlogtober day 10. I'll be back tomorrow. Good night. But also, but also this is what I'm talking about. Like you can see everything. It's kind of weird. Like, can y'all close the curtains? <laughs> okay, good night. Good night, for real. Good night. Okay, bye.